Today we're gonna to ask the question, is a tabletop blasting cabinet right for you? Perfect. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me in the garage today. If you've been thinking about a blasting cabinet, the do range and size and space and what might be right for you, well, it all depends on what you're gonna be using it for. We're gonna do a few different things. In here, we've got some valve covers for four cylinders. We've got some valve covers for some inline six cylinders. Um, brake calipers. So I've got over here a 30 pound media blasting cabinet. All right, for your standard benchtop blasting cabinet, these are gonna be made out of sheet metal. And this thing unloaded weighs about 55 pounds. Now what the 30 pound capacity is, that's for the blasting media. So this unit can hold 30 pounds of whatever media that we're gonna be using. Now the overall dimensions for this unit in particular that I'm using, which I picked up off a of marketplace, but I've got some links in the description where you can find a very similar unit like that. So our length across the front is 28, and then our width is about, we're about 18 in width, 28 across the front. Uh, max height is also 28. Now we do wanna account for this door and how much room you're gonna need to have open. And now with the door open, we're coming in at about 45 inches. This is a side load unit, so the door is gonna have to open. You're gonna need enough space to open the door and not only, cause you don't wanna be able to open it that much, we need to be able to stick our project in there as well. So we need a lot of space on the side. You can think about that when you're placing this in your garage. Put in here, valve cover in here. This is how much room we've got to work with and move it around. Now I will say, I've used this before on valve covers like this and this valve cover as a matter of fact it gets tight on the sides here like this side on that side because once our door is closed we're not going to have as much room to move this around and not only position that gun this way but also move this and the gun to get the side we'll be able to get to it but those are some limitations I've come across on a table size unit like this. So when you do place this, you're gonna have to account for some extra space because we're gonna wanna go ahead and get that door as wide open so we can put our project on the inside. A couple must have for my cabinet that I use. Uh, you gotta have a light. This unit didn't come with a light. I'd say most just cheap bench top cabinets don't come with a light, but if you wanna be able to see inside of there and see what you're working on, you've gotta have a light. I've got this one right here. It's got just some magnets on the top. We can just magnetize it to the top, pull it out and throw it on the USB charger when it runs out of battery. Another thing we must have is a dust collector. Just like the light, this thing's gonna get a lot of dust inside of it and it's gonna make visibility drop very quickly without a dust collector on there. And plus you don't want any of that stuff coming out and breathing anything like that in. So I've got a dust collector on there that'll vacuum out all the dust and keep our workspace clean on the inside. Here's a look at our dust collector here. We just got a hose that's hooked up. Our blasting cabinet with a hose hooked up to here. And then a five gallon bucket. And then the hose right here on the top of the dust collector. This hose, that'll be to our vacuum right over here. Go ahead and fire that on, pull a suction on this, pull all the dust out of here, and keeping it so we can see while we work inside here. That's an absolute must have. All right, here's a look at the inside of our blasting cabinet here with our glass bead media. Of course, we had to put our nozzle in there and our tray down, but we've got our aftermarket light that we installed so you can see inside of the cabinet while you work. It's a must have. Our door, with the latches. Gloves. And then this is our viewing window. We have a replacement piece of plastic that sticks to the window. So it doesn't actually destroy the window and we can replace this piece of plastic right here. As you see right here, we already need to do it. Two gloves with plenty of reach. So here's a look at our spray gun. This is the spray nozzle we're gonna be using with the ceramic tip. We've got our feed line and our air line. Uh, that's gonna go ahead and spray our media on whatever we are blasting today. 
The air line runs through the back of the blast cabinet to hook up to our air compressor, and then our feed line gets buried inside the media. Here's gonna be the air line feed for our air compressor hose to hook up so it can hook up air to the machine. It's gonna be our fresh air vent. This is gonna be our dust collector suction port. So you can see we have our dust collector here. We got our hose, I'm just gonna stick it in there. And we'll fire up the vacuum, which is hooked to our dust collector when we start blasting. And fresh air will get sucked through here. And all of our dust will go out here and be collected into this bucket. This isn't the worst. It's already, I've already blasted it one time, but we put it in the oven to bake out any impurities, any extra oil or whatever, brings it all to the surface like you see right there. We're gonna run through the blaster one more time just to get any of the last little bits of debris out of here so we have the freshest surface possible. With a larger item. I don't know how much bigger we could get and still be able to use this comfortably. Enough talking, let's get to it. Alright guys, here's a look at our valve cover after we've run it through there. Now, as you can see, we have some areas we're going to have to manually hit because you just can't get the gun in on a blasting cabinet of this size. And then kind of some... Coming in on the side on that blasting cabinet just isn't very good. So you might have to come in manually, but overall, major surface areas are clean. Here's our valve cover, looking much better. Here's some of the trouble areas, just getting the gun in tight on that side. I think on these valve covers, that's my biggest complaint. This bench top 30 pound uh, blasting cabinet is just getting in on the sides as tight for a bigger item like this. All right guys, we've got our valve covers all done. Everything is looking great. Look at those things, they're ready to go. Uh, let's try a smaller item. I'm just gonna grab this brake caliper right here. And we're not gonna get too deep into it because we need to split it apart and whatnot, but let's just try to clean some of this stuff off. We'll try a smaller item in our blasting cabinet. For a real quick job, I'd say that's pretty darn good. A lot better than when it went in. A little side by side, four, boom. And even smaller, let's try one last thing. I've got this battery tie down I've been meaning to clean up. Rusty, the paint's peeling off of it. Let's go ahead and put this in the blasting cabinet, get it cleaned up and
guys, here's a look at our little bracket here. Yep, very clean. A lot better than it was. So something like this was easily done inside that blasting cabinet. The caliper, caliper was easily done. Honestly, these uh, inline six single valve, uh, single cam valve covers weren't too bad. This one wasn't terrible, still hard to get in on the sides here. Uh, something like this K24 valve cover was a lot more difficult. It's got a lot more little nooks and crannies to get into and angles to get that gun and move it around, especially the sides. This one was by far the most difficult uh, piece to do, and it's probably maxing out the capacities of that bench press blaster. All right, guys, well, final conclusions about this bench top blasting cabinet. Number one, yes, it's awesome. It does the job exactly what we're looking for. Uh, the smaller items, no problems. What I would do just for my personal thing is I would actually change the media I was using. We were using glass bead, honestly, just because I had it in there. But uh, we need to use something a little bit more for the engine parts. Brake calipers, brackets, yes, no problem. Some valve covers better than others than the larger valve covers, especially like that Honda K-Series motor. It was definitely pushing the limits of that box and you're gonna have to get inventive on the angles and get in there but also some better blasting media, some more coarse blasting media might help clean that up and expedite that process as well. So great introductory level box, easy to use. You definitely wanna seal it up. I had to go through and put gasket sealer on this thing because you will leak out dust. Then absolutely need a dust collector and absolutely need a light to make sure you can see when you're working. Otherwise you can't see too much dust, no light, you aren't gonna be able to see anything and you might as well just not even have one of these. So those are must have. And then get the screen protector for our window right here and get extra of them. I don't have any more right now. I probably need to change that, especially since uh, mine's filling up with sand right now or with media, blasting media right now. Other than that, I really like this thing. Start churning out some products, see how much you're gonna use it. Before you wanna take the step on a bigger, more permanent, more expensive, blasting cabinet. Thanks so much for watching this guys. Got any value out of this? Hit that like button if you want to see me work on more projects. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Come hang out in the garage anytime. I appreciate you guys doing it today. I'll see you on the next one. Comment down below with any questions. Peace. Perfect.